Good morning, Jane. Um, well, actually, right now we are in an area called Orlando in Soweto. Earlier we were in Rockville, and things were a bit quiet there because the crowd there was much smaller um, and it was more peaceful. But now we are in Orlando, and I'm just going to um, get off shots and ask my colleague Deboko to show you. As you can see, there are police waiting uh, with those rifles. Um, they were firing rubber bullets earlier on when we arrived to disperse the crowd. Some of them are all the way on the other side, and they were throwing stones at the police um, um, uh, so right now we can't even go close to the crowd because they're so violent, Jane. Um, they're on the other side of that small felt that you see there um, on camera. Uh, but uh, they were burning, for instance, uh, tires. And I'll ask my colleague Deboho to just show you uh, the smoke there. They were burning tires um, and uh, some rubbish that is from the bins. Um, and now they're actually even pointing at us, not wanting us to come close to them. They did warn us earlier on that if we take any visuals of them they will attack that's why we're on the side um, of the police uh, I don't know if they will be able to show you the visuals of that crowd that is on the other side uh, but we just uh, decided to just be on the safer side so that's the situation right now in Orlando uh, it's a bigger crowd and a much more angrier crowd um, than the one we met earlier this morning in Rockville Jay okay well it looks like they're coming towards you so maybe aim the camera in another Direction, good, that's better. Um, why the violence, though? Why, uh, I mean, we, we understand why they are angry, but why the violence? I mean, what provoked that? Well, actually, um, you know, when we spoke to the leaders that actually um, planned this uh, mass uh, this mass action for today, they were a bit disappointed to hear that there's been violence um, in the area of Orlando because uh, their word was that today should be peaceful. Yes, it should be a shutdown of roads, but that nobody should be violent. So we haven't been able to really speak to the community members themselves to find out from them why it is that they are violent. But, um, you know, one of uh, the, the women that we met earlier, uh, alleges that uh, when police f uh, fired rubber bullets, there was someone who got injured and that made uh, the crowd become more angry. So that's the word we're getting so far. But like I said earlier, we can't seem to get too close to them because every time we do, they threaten to, to attack us. So we, we haven't really heard uh, from them themselves, from their mouths, exactly why they are violent. But we have seen uh, scenes where police have fired rubber bullets to disperse the crowd while they were actually hurling some uh, uh, stones and rocks uh, towards the police vehicles. And tell us more about their demands because we're getting mixed messages from the government, aren't we, as far as payment and back payment is concerned. Well, so Soweto residents, um, for instance, Jane, when I spoke to them, they said that they don't want, they don't necessarily want free electricity. Um, they are just worried with the, the, that 18 billion rand that ESCOM said that it owes them uh, since last year. They say that they don't believe that it can be 18 billion rand that Soweto owes uh, because previously um, Soweto was not billed for electricity. So they're asking themselves where um, that amount of money comes from, first of all. Uh, some of them are saying that, uh, uh, for instance, when we spoke to a lady when they started this uh, mass march on Sunday, actually, um, they said that, for instance, uh, there are some uh, 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 people who owned houses who are actually the elderly. Um, they've passed on, for instance, for about 10 to 20 years, but they're st still being billed. So they're saying that um, something like that shows that the billing system uh, is actually flawed. They were also talking about the fact that the area of Rockville, some of them have, had not, have not had electricity um, since the 30th of May. They say that ESCOM says that they will not fix um, a substation that apparently burnt um, around that area. They, uh, that ESCOM said that they will not fix until um, some of the residents of Rockville have paid. Uh, but they're also saying that it cannot be that um, they are charged about 6,000 rand a month for electricity when, for instance, they only uh, stay uh, in, in one household. There's only about four people. So those are some of the allegations that they have against ESCOM when it comes to electricity. Now, they're also asking, uh, Jane, for housing. Uh, they're saying that they, um, you, you know, RDP uh, houses are being given to people who don't deserve them. Uh, they're saying, um, you know, they're bringing back also, Jane, uh, the topic of land. Um, so those are the grievances of the residents of Soweto. All right, Masaka, let's leave it there and uh, we'll come back to you throughout the day. Still to come, the Centre for Child Law will talk to us about an issue with the Department of Basic Education. has been accused of not complying with the court order to admit children who don't have identity, identity documents at schools.
The Sudan Prime Minister Tom Tabani eventually appeared in court yesterday on murder charges, but some believe he's going to lobby for asylum in South Africa. We'll speak to an expert about this.